What's good? Back at y'all again. Like, comment, subscribe. Need your support. Because your support lets me know that you enjoy what I talk about and what I'm doing to try to help people realize what's going on out here and try to accept things you can't change. One of the things you cannot change and you must understand is women and men. They're going to do what they want to do. They've always done what they wanted to do and they will continue to do what they want to do. You cannot sit around waiting for some woman or man to be happy. You just can't do it. You know, um, the fact of the matter is a lot of y'all think that you're the reason why a woman or man is doing what they do or you have some type of control over it and you have absolutely no power over it. You never will. Once you accept the fact that, you know what? These women are going to do what they want or these men are going to do what they want regardless if I was the greatest woman or man on earth. It don't matter. You know what I mean? And there's always more than you and people are only as faithful as their options and we live in an era where an option is just a touch of a button oh shit there's 20 people in my inbox that's just what it is and nobody's going to change that and people are always going to think i could just do a little bit better because of all these options in their face see people like people for different reasons so they might like something about you i want that off why the fuck is it on I don't know, but I wish it would go off. Man, I don't want to see that stupid flag on that motherfucker. Let's try that. There we go. Alright. Yeah, there was some stupid ass race flag on my shit. I don't know why it was on there. But, um, yeah, man, um... See, the problem is, it's a depressing thing because you try to become this great woman or man and then somebody fuck with you for a while, then they're on to the next or whatever the case may be. Now you feel like you're not good enough or whatever. Especially, especially as a woman because women have men all over they, they um, all over them, you know what I mean? 24-7, but it's kind of like an illusion trick. What's good, Rob? Much love to you, you already know. Yeah, they finally let me back, man. They had me on block. I was on the other page making lives. But I'm back on this one now, man. But uh yeah, man. Um, even people who have relationships right now, they're not happy unless they're happy within. Like you gotta be happy within. So even so the thing is, a lot of y'all don't have a woman or man, and you're not happy, right? Because you think that that's going to make you happy or that's why you're depressed or some woman or man is making you depressed or mad or whatever. They did something to you, whatever. The truth is you're not going to be happy with, even if you had the perfect motherfucker, you're not going to be happy if you're not happy right now, single. That is a fact. That is a fact. So you could get the perfect woman or man, you know, and now you still in depression, you're still not happy and you might even think it's them. You might even leave that partner or whatever. A relationship cannot work unless both people are happy, man, within themselves first. Then you get the other happiness, the additional happiness from your partner, too. Oh, my God, that shit is good. But, man, um, y'all think a lot of y'all fucked up because when you was younger, you had the better chance of the right people. But as people get older, their heart gets cold. And they start dealing, they start getting fed up. And once people get fed up, it's like, they don't even care about love no more. They just care about what they can get from somebody. And that's what you're seeing. You're seeing a lot of people who are out here trying to get what they can get from somebody. Love is done. They threw that, they threw that shit out the window 15 years ago. They gave up on that shit a long time ago. Hold on. I gotta stop that because... But yeah, man, man, um, hold on. 
There we go. Once you accept this shit, it don't even bother you no more. You be like, you know what? Life is short as fuck. And even people who have relationships, they're not even guaranteed to make it. Why the fuck am I worried about some woman or man that I can't control? And as a woman, the problem with the women is men are going to act like they want to be with you, to sleep with you. So the woman, she constantly has a chance at somebody all the time, right? So it's like the illusion of maybe this one will work and it don't work. Maybe the next one will work and it don't work. And she's giving her body up to these guys too at that. So the woman's going to be super depressed. You know what I mean? They have the option. As a man, we don't really have the option. There's no guarantee as a man that you will ever have the option to interact and deal with the, a woman you really like. A woman's always going to have that option because men are always going to want to fuck. In other words, the woman, the woman don't have to be uh, somebody that the man like, but he's still going to act like he's going to fuck with her to get the sex. And she's going to ignore all the other guys that she doesn't like as much as that guy. So when she keeps getting burned by the guy she likes the most, this is what's going on. They get to the point they don't care. And then the other guys they really don't like, well, you're just food to be used. That's what you are. You're just food to be taken, basically. You know what I'm saying? You got to remember, when somebody don't get somebody they like by default, they, they, they take that out on other people. That energy got to go somewhere. You know, I, I couldn't get the woman I like, so fuck everybody. Or somebody broke my heart, so fuck everybody. I'm going to do everybody dirty. That's woman and man doing this shit. Y'all can sit back and complain and cry about why they won't change and this and that. People are going to do what they want to do. They've been doing it. They've been doing it since day one. That's why, like, when men, y'all try to get women to cooperate, do this or that, man, if the woman wanted to cooperate with you, she would. If she don't, she's not going to. So why are you even trying to... Why do you try to make women be something they don't want to be? If they wanted to be that for you, they would. There's no such thing as a woman not knowing that she wants to cooperate with a guy she really likes. Bullshit. She's going to try to do what it takes to not run that guy off. Facts. So as a man, if, if a man really likes a woman, he's going to do what he got to do to try to not run that woman off. So all y'all women parading and your little army suits and shit talking about men need to do this and that. Understand the man not going to do shit that he don't want to do. And he's not doing it because he really don't want you. Or if he does want you, he only wants you for certain reasons and it's not commitment. That's why he still sleeps with other women. It's not changing, man. Once you realize that you can't change these motherfuckers, you're going to just live your life and be happy. The most important happiness is within yourself. It's not from being with somebody else that is not a guarantee it's not a guarantee i don't take no woman serious until she shows me serious why should i that don't mean i just say man you're full of shit i don't believe you no i just don't take her serious until she shows me serious because i know that any given moment another guy can show up in her face whatever and she could just flip for you and be ah let me just try this when it's said or whatever who knows even if i've been with her 20 20 years she can flip on me. You see it happen. So there's no guarantee in this motherfucker, man. That's why I cherish the moment day by day. If she's acting good to me today, then I'm going to act good to her today. If she want to be caught in the bed tomorrow, like Eminem said on, um, I forget the name of the fucking song, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Caught him in the bed while you at work and she at bed. Then that day, very right there, that's when I got to switch up on her. Period. There's no guarantees, man. Y'all letting these people play with y'all feelings instead of trying to get money and enjoy your life. And money ain't everything. Some of y'all got kids. You should be worried about your kid way more than a man or a woman. That is facts, and I'm not trying to judge. If you got kids, you shouldn't even. Some some people got some people are single mothers, right? Because they picked the wrong guy. The last thing you should be worried about is a motherfucking dude, man. Seriously, that's how you got in the position in the first place. And I'm not being funny. I, I'm not just blaming it all on you. I'm saying that the guy was probably not good for you. That's why you're in the situation you're in. Same thing with y'all men. A lot of y'all men would rather try to deal with a woman or impregnate a woman that you see on Facebook showing pictures of her body instead of showing pictures of her with her kid. That makes no sense. If anything, go after the ones with, who show the picture with their kid all the time instead of showing their damn body. 
I mean, at least women are smart enough to do that part, even though most of y'all men are using the picture of your kid to get pussy, but that's another topic. We're not going to talk about that. Because we already know what time it is, and so do women, by the way. They're not dumb. Social media has made it a whole new world. A woman could be in fucking dating and have access to a motherfucker in California or some type of boss, an owner, or some type of, who knows? He could own a cartel, I don't know. And I'll fly you out here, baby, come on. And you think these women want you? You at working at the post office, motherfucker? Nah, she thinks she can do better than you. And she she gonna have access to that guy, but it might be for sex, but that don't matter. That's not the point. That's not the point. R.I.P. Kobe Bryant, when he steps off the bus, the women are fucking basically on their knees. You think she want you? Nah, she gonna go out to try to get Kobe first, motherfucker. Who are you? This is the issue. And then you got um, men, a lot of y'all women, not to, trying to be funny, but men have access, easier access to women who might look better to you. So they're going to they gonna pay money to deal with their women and, and just use you on the side too. That's what they're going to do, man. They don't, it's not about love anymore with motherfuckers, man. That, it's very, it's very, very rare that people are out looking for love, what y'all talking about love, because their hearts is done. Their hearts is not full of love anymore. You know, it might have been at one point. But somebody did them wrong along the line somewhere, and then they turn into an animal, basically. When it comes to love, they just use people now. If I got on a video and played dumb and say, hey, I just want to cash out and just act dumb. Just act dumb and act like I don't know what women be doing. They'd be all over me. But since they know I know what I'm doing, the only ones that could come my way are the ones that come correct or they super super smooth at this season and that's a good thing that's why I make videos like this a lot of people you would assume hey these, these videos probably cost him a lot of pussy yeah but what kind of pussy I don't want them right it's not gonna cost me a legitimate woman a legitimate woman just see a guy talking about life a woman who's plotting sees a guy damn I can't get him let me go get the other guy so it don't fucking matter and that's what women need to start doing start Start, um, matter of fact, make a podcast about how you know how much shit men are full of in the games they run. And then they won't even try to bring that shit towards you. They have no choice but to flee. They have no choice but to flee. But don't feel bad or don't feel sad or whatever because you don't have some woman or man. Because a lot of people have a woman or man and they still not happy. You know why? Because ultimately... Happiness is within yourself first and from the most high God himself. Then you can go look for happiness within other women. A woman cannot make me happy if I don't make myself happy first. So all y'all people single right now letting this bullshit depress you, you got to learn how to be happy first yourself. Or it don't even matter. It don't matter if you have the perfect person for you in your, in your eyes, right? It don't matter. It's not going to matter. You're still, it's still not going to be enough. That's like saying, man, if I had a billion dollars, dog, I'd be the happiest motherfucker on earth. No, I wouldn't. If I'm not happy right now, that billion dollar it might work for a second, but I'm going to go right back to who I am right now. But what if I was happy already and then got the billion dollars? Now we're talking some serious happiness, right? So that's how it's got to be. But complaining about what these people are doing, it's not going to change nothing because the dynamic is different now. At the push of a button, they have more options, right? They have more options. For a, for a man, for a woman, it's harder, again, because all those so-called options might just want to fuck. You know what I mean? And, and that's and she's going to pick the one she likes the most. Let's be real about it. A woman's not going to say, you know what? I like him the most, but I'm going to deal with one of y'all I really don't like. Now, that's not going to happen. She's going to try the one she likes the most. And if he doesn't really want her like that, he just wants to use it, well, this is what's going on. You're getting women being broken down by men who really don't want them. And in the end, as a result, they deal with the men they really don't want, but you're getting a version of her that those guys, no, you're getting a down, you're getting a um, watered down version of her because she really don't want you. She wanted them. 
but they didn't want her. And all that does is break a woman down even more, make her more, you know, um, basically more evil, what should I say, more of a bad woman. And the same thing, vice versa. A lot of these men don't want certain women. You know, no offense to any woman, but a lot of these men don't want some of y'all, so they'll deal with y'all, they'll fuck you and shit, but they really don't want you, so they just use you and break you down and shit, man. Or, or, you know, they've been breaking, they've been broken down, or should I say, the women they want be playing them. So now they getting broken down, now they got to take it out on you. You know, vice versa. Believe it or not, a lot of times, the one that somebody wants the most usually is the one that plays them. Because I feel, so-called, the so-called devil, if y'all want to call it that, evil, whatever fuck you want to call it. I feel like evil knows when you would do somebody right and, and without God, it's like evil it always intervenes and stops it. Like, oh, hell nah. This girl and this guy really like each other and they'll never hurt each other. Too. Oh, nah, we got to do something about this. We got to keep them away from each other somehow. And that's what happens. It's always one person liking somebody and not really liking the, and the, and, and the opposite. One likes somebody, but you don't like them or they like you. And you, you know what I'm saying? Back and forth. It's rare that two people like each other a lot. That's rare. And even if somebody do like you, because a lot of men do like a lot of y'all women, that's why they fuck you, whatever. But nah, let's keep it real, man. Let's just keep it real. When men don't have standards. I, like when I have helpers in the truck, why don't you want to fuck her, dog? She wants to fuck you. Because I don't want to fuck everybody, man. I have standards. I don't have to fuck every woman just because she got a vagina. Like, I be questioning, like, do you motherfuckers have standards? Damn serious. Like, I get it. You're a man, that, but damn. I got to have some type of standard. You, there's got to be some type of attraction there. I ain't going to just fuck you because I was just cuz. That's crazy. Now, I can't do that. Why would I do that if I can fuck somebody I like? That don't make sense. But I guess if you're a person that don't really have options like that, I guess you would fuck anybody, right? I don't know. But the moral of the story is, a lot of these females love to take up for women who are wrong. The, and they be the good women a lot of times. You're naive though, because you think, oh, that's a woman, so I gotta take up for her. But you're not realizing that them bad women are actually making these men bad too, and the same vice versa. That's why you don't, I'm cool with dudes like players and shit, like I don't have no problem with them, I don't hate them. But when it comes to this topic of women and men, I'm not on their side because I know they dare wrong. Like, I can have friends who fuck a lot of women, and I, and I don't judge them for that. Like, I still fuck with them as a person, but as far as how they move when it comes to women, I don't fuck with that. I'm not going to be like, oh, high five, nigga, you fucked another girl. They know I don't get down like that. That's why they might, they might feel a certain way about me. They know I don't get down like that. I don't believe in that. I don't believe a man should be just run, running around just fucking anybody and shit. That's crazy. Why would I believe that? If I don't believe that within myself as a man, why would I uh, condone it? I don't condone it because I understand the effect that it has. You know, this is why you see so many single uh, parents. Because men just fucking around getting everybody pregnant. I don't agree with that. Everybody, I'm black and I'm proud and all this and that. Well, that's part of the reason why shit's been destroyed. Because a woman and man really need to be together and they need to be in a strong household. But how the fuck is that going to happen? You just getting a girl pregnant over here. Now she got to raise a kid on her own. Now she's broken. Can't find time to go be a nurse or whatever because she got to take care of the kid. All that shit, man. All that shit has an effect. But all you see is a nut. And that's the problem. And I know I'm going to lose some male subscribers today, and I don't give a fuck, man. It's got to be said, man. I only speak the truth because everybody claim they real, and they want everything to be better in life and all that. But when it comes down to it, motherfuckers ain't willing to sacrifice and do what it takes to make shit better out here. Because they only care about themselves. Super facts, man. Super facts, man. And as far as, like, the social media and all that shit... A person might like this and this and this about you, but I like this and this and this about him or her, and this and this and this about him or her. You know what I mean? Nobody's perfect. They always going. You're always going to find shit you like about other people other than one person. The problem is motherfuckers don't know how to appreciate when they got something solid. 
just because I like this or that about another woman don't mean that this or that about the woman that I'm trying to fuck with ain't good enough. Don't mean she ain't got it. Oh, damn, that girl got a nice ass. But you know what? The girl I got got a nice ass, too. Motherfuckers can't do that, though. They, they, In their mind, they think something's different about that ass over there. Or in their mind, they think something's different about that guy. He's a little bit taller than this one. Man, it's, it's ridiculous, man. But it's not going to change. So why complain about it? Why complain about it? If you're not their number one option, you're not their option at all. You're not. So you're trying to tell me. If I'm fucking... Another talk about Kobe Bryant. Because, you know, Kobe's that dude. I'm Kobe Bryant. I can have any car I want. Right? But I'm going to settle for this bucket. Kobe Bryant settled for a fucking bucket car. Stop. It's not going to happen. He's not going to be sad. He could be satisfied with it. You know, he could be. But, I mean, why would he do that? So a lot of y'all men, you crying about women picking this guy, that guy. Yeah. Level the fuck up then. Become a better man then. Because they're going to pick the best option that they think is the best option. That's what they're going to do. You don't stand a chance, plumber or whatever, electrician, truck driver or whatever. Because a lot of these women have options to Kobe Bryant and LeBron James and all that. You're, you're still down here, motherfucking level the fuck up. Shut the fuck up and get your bag, man. If you you want the better women, then you got to become a better man. That's the name of the game, and ain't nothing you could do about it. And as far as y'all women, well, you can't change your looks. So the only thing you can do is learn how to be a very submissive, great woman. That's the only shot you got. You can't change your looks. But the good thing is, a solid man that doesn't, that probably won't cheat on you and shit like that, He's not going to just go after just because you look good. He's going to actually look who you are as a woman. And guess what? There's only one you. So that's the only chance you got. So all this showing my body, look at my body. And, and this guy like it and that guy like it and that guy like it. The problem with that is any guy can like that. But when you just be yourself, there's only few guys that's going to like you for who you are. Like really want to fuck with you. Anybody can like you if you show your ass. Come on now. But what you try? What, what are you trying to attract? Are you trying to attract something real or just attention in anybody? You gotta ask yourself these questions. You know, of course you gonna get more attention if you show your your body. You know what I'm saying? That's why you see most women doing that instead of showing pictures with them and their kid or something. But you know, you got men crying about women and how they are. But you go after the woman showing her body instead of the woman on Facebook holding her kid. That's a no-brainer. If I was trying to look for a good woman. Why would I go after the woman always showing her body versus the woman who got always showing her kid do, out doing shit with her kid? Which one would you rather have a kid by? See, a lot of y'all men love to complain about how women choose they with men, but you don't look at how they fuck you choosing your women. All you go off of is looks. Not saying you should get somebody you're not attracted to. You shouldn't, but you can't just go off and look alone. But hey, nothing's going to change out here, y'all. So I suggest all of y'all, it's going to be a long fucking ride, man. It's going to be a long ride. If you got standards, it's going to be a fucking long ride. And I mean, it might be a ride forever. You might not never find nobody that um, is going to cooperate. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line is, pe most people want to cooperate, like women and men. But the problem is, they're not getting what they really want. So since I'm not getting what I really want, I'm going to play around and use you and shit, basically. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. I want Kobe Bryant, but, you know, I can't get nobody but Tuan, so, you know, I really don't want him. I'm still fantasizing about Kobe Bryant. He's 6'7", and this and that. You know, I'm still fa fantasizing about how me and Kobe did this or that, you know, after, after the game. I know I can get one. But I'm going to just settle for you for now, Juan. But the fact of the matter is, I'm a woman, so I have access to the higher guys. But you only have access for sex, though. 
so that by default makes me the better choice. But you're gonna pick that because you're still looking at a, that. You're still looking at, at the illusion of what if I can pull that guy? He's really not the better choice because he doesn't see you in that light. Unless you was a woman on a higher level, then you got a good shot, right? Top tier guys are gonna pick top tier women. They should. I mean, if they're smart. But hey, there's levels to this shit. That's all I can say. So all y'all men complaining about why these women picking this or that, be that guy then. And you're not going to be that guy chasing women. Self-improvement. And don't just self-improve for a woman. Do that shit for your kids. Do that shit for your soul. Do that shit for you, your life. So you can live life more abundantly. Life is too short to be worried about why a woman don't like you. Already know what time it is. Oh, she, she did this? I already know. She must have been... Fucking somebody else last night. I already know. I'm not about to go cry in a car. She did. I can't believe it. I can believe it. I I can't believe if she didn't do it. Damn, a woman that didn't do this or that. She don't like attention and shit like that. She really wants one man. Damn, maybe she is the one. But y'all the opposite. Y'all give everybody the benefit of the doubt, which you supposed to to a certain extent. But and but you gotta guard your heart. Like maybe this is the one, but you know I'm gonna I'm gonna take my time with it. Y'all don't do that. Six months in, y'all ready to get married. You throw all the shit out the window that you learned about watching women and men. You throw all that out the window when it comes to somebody you like. I'm red pill, nigga. I'm red pill. I'm red pill. Soon as you meet a woman you really like, you throw all that shit out the window, and then you can't even you can't even um. How do you say that? You can't even gauge who the woman really is because you like her so much. So you ignore all the flags. This is what women do. They ignore all the flags with the wrong guy. It don't matter. I just hope he changes or hope he's right because I like him so much. They throw all the flags out the window. All the rules out the window. That's why when, when you're dealing with a woman or man and they acting like it's like pulling teeth, then you know they really don't like you because pe women and men basically throw all the rules out the window when it comes to somebody they really like. They shouldn't, but they do. So it's a no-brainer. Oh, she flaked? All right, must not be the first choice. You know, oh, she did that? Must not be the first choice. Period. I don't got to fucking cry in a car or scratch my head. Man, why did she do that? I don't know what... She, I already know what it is because if she really liked me, she's going to let me know. Plain and simple. The only way a woman won't let me know if she really like me is if she's scared that I won't like her back. That's the only way. Other than that, that's some bullshit. That's some bullshit, man. I'm not her first choice, and that's fine. I, I don't want to be with you if I'm not your first choice. I don't deserve you. See, a lot of y'all don't look at it that way. I do. If I'm not her first choice, I don't deserve her because I can't make her as happy as the first choice that she wants. And she can't make me as happy as somebody who sees me as the first choice. A lot of y'all trying to be wiped up by a man that does not see you as the first choice. That's why you're not getting first choice treatment. And you won't get it. You got to share me. I like you, but you got to share me. I know we've been together 10 years, but I just don't want to marry you yet. You know, I just don't. I fuck them, but I love you. Bullshit, man. Man, if, if a dude really like, if if I got the one I really want, why the fuck I want to fuck another woman? That's fact. I don't give a fuck about this. I'm a man, and 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 we're programmed. And man, that's bullshit, man. I know what it feels like to like a woman more than any other woman in the world. You don't want to sleep with another woman. There's no desire there to do that. I'm tired of the lies, man. Men do it because you're not really the one they really want. Or it's selfishness. If you are the one they really want and they still doing it, it's just selfishness. Either way, it's wrong. But I say that it's um, this it's something there that, that... You know what else? I take that back a little bit. You might be the one they really want, but they're not... Ha Remember what we said earlier in the video. If you're not happy yourself, nobody else can make you happy. Matter of fact, now that I think about it, a lot of times, why do men cheat on somebody they, they so-called love? Not all of them, but some of them, because they're not happy within themselves. There's something within themselves that is not fulfilled. So when they deal with a the woman, you know, they, they feel like the, 
uh, maybe another woman will make me more fulfilled. This one ain't enough. But really, in reality, the woman does make him fulfilled, but he can't see it because he doesn't have it within himself. So a lot of women, well, how the fuck did a woman leave you or cheat on you? I would never do that. She got to be dumb because that woman wasn't fulfilled within themselves. And then once once you leave them alone, then they realize, damn, Swan was a good one. I let him get away. I fumbled him. That's why you got to get right yourself first. Because if I'm not right with it myself first, the perfect woman can show the fuck up and I'm a fumbling. Because if I'm not right within myself, man, I really, she really don't make me have all this shit. She going to get low vibration treatment and all that bullshit after so long. The Cinderella stage never end with the right person. If you happy within yourself, both people, not one, both. How? How could it? A lot of relationships are not happy because people aren't happy. No way around it. Some people aren't even ready they don't even know themselves yet, let alone know a relationship or know what it takes to be uh, happy in a relationship, what it takes to be married, all this. You know, you hear a lot of people say, well, if, if someone's single, how can he talk about relationships? As if, you know, the experience you had might have been the teacher to teach you what relationships are like or whatever. So in other words... You could be with somebody 20 years and now you're single. I guess that means that person don't know nothing about relationships, right? That's foolishness. What does that... Or you could be married and still be trying to cheat. Does that make you a husband just because you got married to a woman? Some people think getting married makes them a husband. And then you have motherfuckers who, who feel like I got to be a husband to be married. Mm. Some people think that getting married makes them a husband or wife. And then you have us other people who understand that I got to be a husband or wife to be married. In other words, to be deserved to be married. Levels. Fuck was that? When we in a world where people aren't happy. And you wonder, like, man, I'm a good-ass woman. I'm a good-ass dude. Why the fuck people don't want to this or that? Man, people ain't happy. If people aren't happy, remember, it's never going to be enough. Never going to be enough. And not only aren't people not happy, they are out for benefits. They're not out for love. Love been threw out the window when they broke their heart. When somebody broke their heart, they threw love out the window. Man, fuck that shit. I ain't loving nobody. A lot of these men not loving these women because I'm going to tell y'all something. Y'all good women listening. If you if you really a good woman and you listening, you wonder why the fuck men cheating don't want to be with one woman. I'm going to tell you why. Because I didn't even know for a while. Now I get it because I listen to other men and it, and it makes more sense, right? A lot of times the so-called bad guy, right? A lot of times he's sleeping with women who are supposedly in love with the good guy. You know what I'm saying? And, and they see that like, damn, this could be me. Fuck that shit. This girl literally let me come over her house and do this or that. Why her dude was at work? Fuck that. And then I'm not saying it don't happen vice versa. Because, you know, vice versa, women see it. Damn, he's married. He's married. He's married. They all in my inbox, man. Fuck that. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want no man. After I, after seeing that shit, I'm good. Because he was just in my inbox last night. Now he's on Facebook posting how much he loves his wife. Fuck out of here, dog. This is what you're dealing with. Fuck that shit. Hey, man. It's, been, it's hard to get your heart back after being broken. So I ain't trying to just give my heart to anybody. I can't. Can't do it. The woman really got convinced me over time that it's safe to love her. You know what I'm saying? If not, that's fine. I love myself. I love myself, man. And nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with loving yourself. You're going to find out loving yourself and focusing on yourself. Now you could go take a trip to wherever. Even if you don't have a man, you could go take a trip to an island and maybe you do want to sleep with a guy there. Oh, well, who gives a fuck? Oh, well. So you could do it. The point is you could do what you want instead of trying to love blockhead motherfuckers that don't even they don't even care they just want your money or or they just want to you know what i'm saying i'm just saying you ain't got to sleep with a guy on the island you could just go on the island or you ain't got to even sleep with a girl a lot of men think i'm gonna take a trip and get some hoes maybe you just need to take a trip to get peace in mind how about that just stare at the fucking palm trees sipping on some shit 
just fucking free of everything. Free of all the bullshit. Free of work. All that. How about that? Some people ain't gonna make it. Some people are in relationships. Don't answer. Uh, do not answer unknown numbers because you will get calls all day long, 24 7. This shit's irritating. Man, I got like 100 numbers blocked. And they just keep calling, man. Keep calling, keep calling. When you answer, they don't say nothing. What they'll do is they'll wait, and I guess it takes like five seconds, and then they get all your information or some shit. Don't, don't answer numbers you don't know. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, man, um, I can't lie. Like, I like relationships and shit, but when I became single, every time I became single, my life just catapulted more. Not saying that those women held me back, but I'm trying to give y'all the example of it's okay to be alone for now. Focus on shit. You're focusing on the wrong shit. If you don't have a relationship, why are you focusing on one? That don't make sense. How about try to become a better woman or man for one if you ever get one of them? But as a woman, the problem with the women is, is so many men in their face basically dangling relationships, basically teasing them. You know how like you tease a dog with food and shit? That's what women are going through when it comes to this this this, this love shit. Because every day there's men just, just basically teasing them in their face, and they don't know who's really real or not. As a man, we don't really have that problem. We don't gotta wake up and there's a thousand women in my inbox. We don't have to deal with that problem. Women do. And that's, I think that's the biggest problem why it's hard for women to find the right person, man. Because it's, 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 it's an illusion. Making them think that maybe this one, maybe that one, maybe the next one. Every day. And a lot of times, it'd be like 95% of the men in their face ain't even, it's not even it. It's, it's a lie. And then you got the small percent. But how, but, but if they don't like that small 5%, well, then they're just going to keep getting played. Basically, if the woman don't like the right man, she's fucked. Because she's going to take the shot at Kobe Bryant, remember. Now, does Kobe Bryant really want to fuck with her? Now, that's the question. Us men, we go after somebody, unless we luck up and somebody we like comes to us, which is rare as fuck, but it can happen. We actually go after the one we want. And if she likes us back, then we're good. A woman could do that. She could go after what she wants. But a lot of times they're not going to do that. But maybe they're better off doing that, to be honest. You know, a lot of them say, well, only a broke guy comes after me or something. Well, go speak to the motherfucker that you think might be worthy of fucking giving a chance. Just say hi. I guarantee you, um, nine times out of ten, she's probably going to think that you're trying to choose him or some shit because as men it don't i can't lie i get called handsome and shit all the time but most men they're not getting that every day they're not getting a woman coming up speaking that don't happen like that you know what i'm saying it just doesn't but let's be real about it if you a high value man like kobe bryant or something women will come up to you so again if you let's say this if you are the one she really wants she's going to send the shoes a signal so what am i talking about why am I even saying that women should go up and choose the one that they do that? Problem is, the guy that they really want ain't, ain't reciprocating back. And nine times out of ten, it's because of the women that y'all protect. Y'all women, the women you protect. The ones that you act like don't do shit wrong. The ones you act like ain't ain't um, out here using men and shit. Those women are making it hard for you to find a man that respects women. Or wants to do right by women. Because they deal with those women and then they see these women are doing wrong and dirty and shit. Now you all get lumped in the same category. No way around it. Just like women, all niggas ain't shit. I might be good at all niggas cheat. I don't want to cheat. But guess what? A woman going to see me. Oh, he got ribs. He dressed like him. He talks like him. Hey, he must be them. Just like society. He looks like a nigga. He talks like one. Even though I really am. But my brain and my heart is try to be like most high not like what they want us to be but still i don't consider myself separated from what you would call nigga i'm the same don't try to say well they are this and i'm that no 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 we all the same they just like me the only difference is i'm trying to become better and some of them have not tapped into that shit yet that's all 
Don't separate us. We all the same. In my opinion, we all the same. We all came from the same place. So how the fuck we different? We not different. You just don't, you just think that because you don't like them that they're different than me. They're the NR, ER or some shit. You know what I'm saying? Nah, we all the same. Fuck that shit, man. We all the same. Just like a bad bitch and a wife is the same, right? But the mentality is different. So a bad bitch can be a wife if she wants to. A wife can be a bad bitch if she wants to. It can go either way. It can go either way, people. But I think I'm done talking about this shit, man, today. And I hope y'all learned something in this video. I don't want to keep it dragging on too long. Because, you know, I got more to come. So let me just get off of here for now. And that's it for now, man. Y'all stay safe out there. Like, comment, subscribe.